Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. We've had a good weekend and ready to uh, just have church with us tonight, so we want you to stay tuned. We have some good singing coming up a little later, and we do have some phone operators up there if you need to call. And we welcome all of you. We know that this is a busy time of the year. A lot of people visiting families and friends and so forth. And then there's others that are um, having a lot of difficulties at home, sickness and death and so forth. So, you know, every single day is different before the Lord. And so we... Uh, just have to remember, we never know what a day is going to bring forth, the Bible tells us. So as we remember that, we know we have to stay prayed up, ready to for whatever the Lord sends. All right, I want us to read some scriptures to you. This is, you know, uh, as, you, as you read the Psalms, you find out a lot about how uh, King David's relationship was with the Lord. He had a unique, a unique relationship with him, and he could talk to him. He could tell him how he was feeling, what was happening, and and he had no qualms about, you know, when he was up or when he was down. He could still, you know, talk to the Lord, and that's the way we should be, because he knows everything about us anyway. All right, Psalms 27 is talking about uh, David is talking about his confidence in the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, and to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire into his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, and the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me, he shall set me up on a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above mine enemies around about me, therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yeah, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy upon me and answer me. When thou sayest, Seek you my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide, me, hide not thy face from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. For thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in the plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over into the will of mine enemies, for the false witness have risen up against me as such as breathe out cruelties. I had fainted unless I'd believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. And that is uh, Psalms 27, 1 through 14 verses. 
but telling us to wait on the Lord. And that's exactly what we have to do on a daily basis because so many things happen that uh, we have no control over and all that we can do is to wait on the Lord to come to us. And so uh, we have uh, prayer requests already in. We have more uh, coming in, I'm sure. And so we'll be taking care of those a little later. And uh, But right now... Uh, Let's wait on the Lord to, and ask Him for the help and strength that we need. We're all facing a different battle. You might say, oh, well, they've got it made. They're, they're well, they're, their health is good, they've got money, they this and this. No, everybody has their own battles. It, and it's different with each person. And uh, so we've got to wait on the Lord to help us because it's from him that we get our strength. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that we know you are our Savior. We, you are the one that we can run to. And as, uh, as uh, the uh, talks about hiding us from the storms, and even when the storms, we have to go through storms, we know we know you're still there. You, you are with us. You give us strength and protection. And we thank you, Lord, that you are uh, a living a Lord that is with us on a daily basis. You know everything that we go through, every, every thought we have, everything we say. You know all about it. So, Father, in your mercy, minister to each of us. Bless our guests, our phone operators, and the, our staff, and and all of the audience, Lord, bless them. Let peace come to the hearts that need it tonight. And those that have never accepted you, Lord, let it be a time that they do that. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> all right, tonight we're happy to have with us some uh, friends from Jenkins, Kentucky. We had another church here not long ago from Jenkins. And, uh, okay, uh called out uh, from Jenkins, Kentucky, Daryl McBee. Uh, I probably said that wrong, but I'm good at that. Okay, and they're from the Glory Ridge Trinity Church in Prestonsburg. We'll be finding out more about that later. We'll let, have them come over and tell us about their church and so forth. But right now, the phone number is 606-634-7406. And they're ready to minister to us in song, Called Out Ministries. Let me say before we get started tonight, as always, it's so good to be here. And uh, thank God for another opportunity to be on uh, WLJC in the Hour Harvest program. And for, for the work that it does, the lives that it reaches, the places that it goes, we are so thankful. And... Uh, of course, uh, we've been watching it since we've been knee high to a grasshopper, and we've been here uh, uh, several, several times, all the way back into the 80s. Uh, we've been here on the station at different times, with uh, helping do different things, and it's always been a blessing. Amen. Every time that we've come here, the love that we feel, the reception that we get, and and we feel so so at home when we're here tonight. So we're thankful for that tonight. We uh, left out about two o'clock today, and the sun was shining, but they're saying. Uh, there's given snow in the forecast, so we may have a little white ride home, but that's all right. God brought us here. God will take us home, but we're looking forward to what God's going to do here tonight. And what we're going to do tonight, Sister Margaret, is, uh, you know, me and her sing a lot of different style of music, been singing all of our lives. I mean, we do a lot of uh, praise and worship music. We do a lot of Southern gospel music. Uh, but tonight, I want to go back uh to where uh, my roots are and her roots are tonight, being brought up in the Pentecostal church uh, all of our life, amen. I was raised up in the Whitesburg Church, God, uh, there in Whitesburg, and uh, they sung out those red hymnals, amen, and uh, and we would sing those songs, or they would line up in front of the church, and, and they would sing those songs, and I, 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 I've been in, in, in it so long, amen, that I, they can name the song now, and I can tell you what page it's on, so me and her got to talking and said, let's 
let's go back, amen, to some roots and, and bring back some memories. Maybe you're watching tonight. It's going to take you back somewhere in those days when you grew up, amen, in, in, in your home church. And, uh, and those older saints would gather around and grab those little red hymnals, amen, with amazing grace on page 57, amen. And they'd sing them songs from their heart. And I can remember as a young boy laying there in those church pews or sitting there in those church pews, amen, uh, uh, listen to those uh, songs, amen, and they'll always have a special place in my heart so tonight we're going to we're going to go back there and, and and sing some of these songs to you tonight and pray that it'd be a blessing to you i've heard of a land of joy and peace a wonderful
that way. Amen. I'm glad tonight I can honestly say in my heart that I'm going that way because I've made Jesus Lord of my life. John 14 and 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can come to the Father but by me tonight. I'm glad I know the way. Amen. I'm glad I'm on my way. And I'm glad he is the way tonight. Amen. I want to give a shout out to Wessa Brooke Miller, a special lady friend of mine, amen, that watches and everything that we do, amen, and texts me earlier and said, I'm going to be watching tonight, Pastor Sowessa. Thank you, baby. God bless you tonight. We love you. Appreciate all of our friends and family that's watching tonight. Hope and pray everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving and didn't overdo the, the turkey like I did, but thank God I repented, amen, and God forgave me. So it's, it's all good, amen, but thank God for family time. Thank God for those special moments when we can get together and to celebrate the, the holidays. And uh, I, I'm grateful tonight, amen. I just got to spend a, a very good Thanksgiving with my friends and family. Our next song I want to do, amen, says an old account was settled long ago. You remember this one? There was a time on earth when in the book of heaven, an old account was standing for sin yet unforgiven. My name was at the top and many things below. I went unto the keeper and said, oh, long ago, long ago. I was always sinning and never tried to pay. But when I looked ahead and saw such pain and woe, I said that I would settle, and I settled long ago, long ago. My heart be glad while tears of joy will flow because I had it settled, it settled long ago, long ago. Seek the Lord, repent of all your sin. For thus he has commanded, if you would enter in. And then if you should live a hundred years below, even here you'll not regret it that you said, oh, long ago, long ago. Amen. 
This next song comes right off page 333 in that red hymnal. Amen. I think it's one we all know, so sing with us tonight. Amen. It says, keep on the firing line. Amen. I got that backwards with I'll fly away. I know I just said that. I'll fly away is 333. But we're going to do keep on the firing line, then we'll do I'll fly away. How's that? If you're in the battle for the Lord and right, keep on the firing line. If you win, my brother, surely you must fight. Keep on the firing line. There are many. Die of fighting, it is no disgrace. Coward in the service, he will find no place. So keep on the firing line. Oh, you must fight, be brave against all evil. Never run, nor even lag behind. If you would win for He can't trust Keep on the firing line If you wear a crown Then bear the cross you must Keep on the firing line Life is but to labor For the master dear Help to banish evil Let the spread good cheer Great you'll be rewarded for your service here. So keep on the firing line. Well, you must fight, be brave against all evil. Never run or even lag behind. If you would win for God and the righteous, keep on the to heaven brother we'll be glad keep on the firing line I will praise the Savior for the call we had keep on the firing line when we see the souls that we have helped to win leading them to from the paths of sin with the shout of welcome we will all march in so keep on the firing line for you must fight be brave against all evil never run nor even lag behind if you would win for God and the righteous keep on the firing line if you would win for God and the righteous keep on the firing line yes we will all right now we'll do 333 I'll fly away I told her when she made this list I would I would get that backwards before I got to the bottom of that list amen but that's all right We'll do it now. 333 in the old red hymnal. Amen. Says, I'll fly away. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away. Yeah. 
shadows of this life have grown I'll fly away like a bird from prison bars has flown I'll fly away I'll fly away oh glorious Joy will never end. I'll fly away. I'll fly away. Oh, glorious. I'll fly away. Morning, yes, when I die. Hallelujah. Bye. do a, a song that uh, man I've been hearing and singing this and playing this for years amen and it's uh, just as powerful today sister Margaret as it's ever been amen I want you to listen to the words of this old hymn it says how beautiful heaven must be you know Paul said eyes have not seen and ears have not heard neither has it entered into the heart of man what God has in store for his people but I can just imagine how, how beautiful heaven must be Sweet. 
tell folk this all the time i've come too far to turn back now amen i'm looking for that day amen like job said job said i'll see him for myself and not for another amen i'm going amen to see the king of kings and the lord of lords amen i'm going to see the gates of pearl i'm going to see those streets of gold amen i i, I want to see the the 12 trees that bear 12 manners of fruit i want to see the river of life all the heaven in the bible uh, talks about i want to see it one day but there's one amen that i'm looking for amen that i want to see more than anything else i want to see the one who died for me friend the one tonight amen to love me when i couldn't love myself the one amen that went to calvary and laid down his life amen tonight that i can see here amen at, at this piano tonight amen and feel his presence in this place tonight as i sing these songs tonight because i know that i know that i know tonight amen that time is not at the door these songs that we're singing are fixing to become a reality we're going amen to see a king going to see the ones who died for us amen and i thank god amen that that time that time i feel with all my heart is nigh at the door amen this next song says jesus hold my hand how many knows not he will amen He'll hold that hand as long, amen, as we will allow him to hold it. He'll hold on to us. He said in the word, he said, Father, out of all the deeds that you've given me, I've lost none, no, not one, amen, except for the son of perdition and only him that the scriptures may be fulfilled. I'm glad tonight, amen, that he's holding my hand. I'm not holding you. He's holding my hand tonight, and that's why I know, amen, I'm going to see him soon and very soon. Jesus, hold my hand. As I travel through this pilgrim land, there is a friend who walks with me. Leads me safely through the seeking sand. It is the Christ of Calvary. This would be my prayer, dear Lord to help me do the best I can for I need thy light to guide me day and night blessed Jesus hold my hand Jesus hold my hand I need thee every hour Protect me by the power. Yes, Lord. Hear my feeble plea. Oh, Lord. Yes, dear Lord look look down, down on me. me. When I kneel in prayer, I hope to meet you there. Blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Let me travel. 
the light, deep find that I may see the blessed way. Keep me that I may be holy. testify say something for the Lord tonight amen come on bless you I just want to thank the Lord for a safe trip down here amen. I thank him for all the goodness yes. that he has for me and amen. I thank him that his mercy is renewed daily yes amen. I just give him praise amen it's always always good to be here but anywhere I can be in the presence of the Lord, that's a good place to be. Amen. And we may not have many here tonight. Sister Mark Bob says we're two or three are gathered in his name. We got more than that here tonight. We are gathered here in his name to lift him up this evening. Amen. Hallelujah. This next song. Amen. Says, getting ready to leave this world. How many of you are ready? Amen. How many's got your house in order? How many, amen, you've got, you, 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 you've, you've purchased your ticket, your heart's right, amen, you're under the blood, and you're ready to go, amen. I like what John said over in 1 John uh, chapter 5, around verse 11 there, and when he said, and this is the record that God has given to us that we can know, <coughs> excuse me, that we have eternal life, amen, and this life is in his son. He that has the son of God has life, and he that has not the son of God has not life tonight. I live, amen, because he lives tonight. Praise his mighty name. Get him ready to leave this world. Laying up my treasures in that home above, trusting fully, trusting in the Savior's love. Doing what I can for heaven's holy dove. I'm getting ready to leave this world. Getting ready to leave this world. Getting ready for the gates of world. Keeping my record right, watching both day and night. I'm Trust 
Living in the riches of his saving grace In each earthly trial I his love can trace Sure that up in heaven I'll find a place I'm getting ready to leave this world Getting ready to leave this world Getting ready for the gates of pearl Keeping my record right Watching all day and night I'm getting ready to leave this world To prepare a mansion Jesus said I'll go if it were not true, I would have told you so. Just a little while to linger here below. I'm getting ready to leave this world. Getting ready to leave this world. Getting ready for the gates of pearl. Keeping my record bright. Watching both day and night, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Amen. How many is getting ready? Amen. I'm more than ready. Amen. Why? Because the blood has been applied. Amen. We're going to do one more song. Amen. And say it's been so good to be here tonight. I hope the phones are ringing upstairs. Amen. Our, 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 our greatest desire tonight is that we say or sing or play something tonight that would just touch a sinner's heart. Maybe somebody lost watching. Amen. We'll give their heart to Jesus. That would be some great news tonight. But we're going to do this one more and turn it back over to Sister Margaret. And appreciate the time once again to get to be here on the station amen and we're going to close it out with this old song amen that i that i love amen and been singing for years too he says i'm on the battlefield amen thank y'all tonight i was a lonely idol i was a sinner too i heard a voice from heaven saying there's work to do I took my master's hand, and I joined the heavenly band. Now I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Yes, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I promised him that I would serve him till I die. And I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I lost my flag in battle. My staff is in my hand. I'm taking it to Jesus over in the glory land. In this thin land I trod. Christ sinner come to God. And I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Yes, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. And I promised him that I would serve him till I die. And I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I'm fighting for my Savior. The battle is most won. The trumpet will be sounding. The coming of the sun. I'll lay my armor down, take up my robe and crown, and I'll walk the golden streets with my Lord. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Yes, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I promise him that I would serve him till I die, and I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Thank y'all tonight. God bless you. All right. That's some great singing there. He, uh, here's a cough drop. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so you folk come on up and talk to me. <clears throat> we'll find out <clears throat> yes. that the people know about your uh, your church and so forth. Yes. And uh, um, But they've, uh, those songs were very good that you sang. And, uh, um, here from uh, Gladys from Jackson said she's really enjoyed the singing. Amen. And then uh, 
Faye from Round County, the singers uh, are, are good, and from Francis from Lincoln County, she remembers those songs. <laughs> As Sister uh, Mary and Pauline. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, and uh, so we we know that it brings out a lot of good memories yes, to have uh, uh, have. You know, the songs back then had a message, yes, it did. Yes, it did. and that's why I think they should never die off because no. we need messages. We need something that we can hold on, on to when Amen. the storms come. Amen. And uh, so, uh, uh, all right, uh, before we get into the rest of the requests, uh, you want to tell us, bring us up to date on your own, what you're doing? Yes, uh, currently we are, we are pastoring Glory Ridge Trinity Church. We're located at 198 Haywood Lane in Prestonsburg. Uh, if you know anything about Highway 23, where 23 and 80 cross one another, you can see our church from the intersection up on the hill. Uh, you can see the steeple from the road. Amen. And uh, we took the church about uh, a little October 22nd, made a year that we, we've taken the church. Amen. We were in a good church and, and been there for a while. Amen. Hadn't planned on moving. Uh, thought we was done uh, pastoring and was just being glad to... Uh, be a good church member and, and preaching out of our home church and evangelizing and then God run us into these folk and uh, man I tell you uh, we went and met with them and uh, their pastor had passed away and they have a beautiful church beautiful people sister Margaret mm -hmm. just needed a shepherd amen mm -hmm. and while we were there in that meeting and I, I heard their hearts I saw the tears and I heard them uh, speaking uh, just how, how desperate they was wanting not just a pastor, amen, but they said they wanted somebody, amen, that um, could, could, could take the church, amen, and build it back to what it once was. The church once thrived, and, uh, and uh, things happened with the pandemic, and then the pastor passed away. And uh, so anyway, we came into this place with just, just about seven or eight people. And we took the church, and God is blessed. We're growing. Uh, people are coming. We're, we've we've uh, almost doubled what we started with. Amen. Uh, on a good Sunday morning, we're around 20, 25 now on a good Sunday. If everybody's there. So God is moving, and God is doing great things at Glory Ridge Church. We still, now we still have called out ministry because we believe, as God has set us back behind the four walls of the church to, to pastor, we still are commissioned to go into the highways and the hedges. So uh, we still do that too uh, as called out ministries. Amen. But uh, man, it's so, it's so good to be here this evening. All right. Very good. Irene from uh, Wayne County said she's enjoyed the singing tonight and she watches every night and she loves me. Well, thank you, Amen. Irene. Uh, Betty from McKee, thanks, uh, for, uh, thanks for all the prayers. She loves the station, loved the singing tonight. And uh, this from McQuiver County said that she loved, they love the singing. WLJC is her church. And uh, <laughs> so uh, I figured those good songs yes. would revive a lot of people and there's some more came down Amen. so uh, um, anyway uh, let's get these requests in we want to uh, <clears throat> um, okay Mary from from Laurel County has called um, for Paul and uh, Laura and Gladys from Wolf County Laura has upcoming surgery and and uh, Gladys had hip surgery, but enjoyed the singing. Amen. And uh, I figured once they get a call, and they'd, they'd let us know. <laughs> uh, uh, Debbie from Knott County. Uh, okay. Uh, she wants to be a light for her family Amen. and pray for her grandson. Yes. Uh, from Mullins from Bretha County, enjoyed the uh, uh, Christmas decoration and the music tonight. Amen. Louise from Pulaski. Um, and she needs to get over COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, that stuff really hangs it on. Sure does. Uh, Evelyn from Whitley County, pray for her physical needs. Peggy for her friends and family. Thelma for uh, her and her fourth generation of babies and children. Unspoken request um, for a, a granddaughter, uh, or maybe that's a grand and grandson. Uh, Jason from his wife is called from. Uh, from Clay County, and Janet from Fayette County, uh, Terry from Menifee, Charles from Morgan, 
uh, physical needs and uh, Everett from Madison uh, and mm -hmm. we have Tammy from Montgomery allergies and so forth Randy with cancer Virginia needs prayer Lester from a get uh, from Menifee a bill from Floyd for him and his dizziness Charles from Morgan County there's a number of folk in there that's sick and they need uh, uh, need someone has lost uh, lost their spouse it says mm -hmm. Linda from Floyd County for several in her family Nancy from Flemingsburg uh, down her back and uh, Teresa Cooper she just wanted to call and say thanks to the Lord for all that he's do already done for her and uh, so we we might add that uh, uh, Brenda one of our phone operators she's down sick tonight and uh, we need to pray for her and then uh, Lonnie Lovins that uh, has been here to sing for a long time. He's uh, he's facing some new trials with the doctors, and so he really needs prayer with more tests coming up. And then also here's the about the uh, passing of Donnie Napier of uh, Clay County. Uh, that's Melissa's husband and. Uh, Visitation is tomorrow and tomorrow night, and the funeral will be a Monday at one o'clock. And that's uh, uh, the uh, the funeral will be at, <coughs> and the visitation at the Garrett Pentecostal Church in Garrett, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And so we need to pray for that family. So we want to be sure and get our our prayer requests in because a lot of people are depending yes. upon this. Mm -hmm. And yes. you know sometimes you could have so much on you. It just seemed like you're uh, clouded out. You yeah. can't get through. Been there. That's why you need somebody. Yes. If you would take that and anoint yes. those, we'd appreciate it. And uh, and uh, and you know, sometimes all we can do is to pray for yes. people because you know, yes. when when death especially comes, yes. you know, there's there's not anything yes, that Lord. can be said or done to uh, alleviate that pain yes. but we can't intercede for it amen go ahead father in the name of jesus god this evening father we thank you lord god for the work that you're doing here this evening through the program god into these lives lord tonight that have called in oh, you know every name you know every home represented father you know every reason why they called and god mm -hmm. we still know tonight father god that you're our savior you're mm -hmm. our healer you're our deliverer Father, you are the supplier of our needs. You'll make a way when there seems to be no way. Now, I ask you now, Father God, as we come in agreement right here, you said we're any two or three would agree as far as touching anything. Ask of the Father, and it shall be done. So we're asking right now in agreement that you touch, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, every name that we yes. hold in our hand, maybe those that are still on the <laughs> phone, Lord, maybe those that wanted to call and for some reason couldn't call or didn't call, we pray, God, that you be with them oh, and touch Jesus. them. We yes. ask you to continue to bless this station. Bless Sister Margaret and this crew, Lord, for the work that they're doing, Father, and give us safe travels home tonight. Yes. We ask it in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you so much. Amen. And uh, so uh, do you have recordings, or tapes, tapes, or CDs? We or have anything? CDs. Yes, we do. Okay. We, no, we don't have any with these hymnals on. I've been trying to get her to do one like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Sister Margaret, and that's why we want to do these mm -hmm. songs tonight. These songs take me back to when I was about a 15-year-old boy when mm -hmm. I first started playing the piano mm. in church. Wow! And uh, these songs have never—they've never left me. Well, they're—they're they're good because they. Uh, oh, there's more calls coming in. <laughs> uh, so, as he run, hurries to get these, maybe we can get it on. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway. Uh, it would be it would be good to have a a, yes. a DVD of all the or CD, CD. or whatever I don't DVD would this is too. late at that. night I can't even remember <laughs> what I'm even talking about but uh, but anyway uh, you know even uh, thank you um, all right this is uh, uh, <coughs> Jasmine from Clark County is sick and Karen has the flu called in by Paul from Laurel Amen. County. So, all right, those Definitely. will be added to that. Jesus, yes. And, uh, all right, uh, you want to give your phone number again or anything else? You got any special uh, 
church announcements that you? We, uh, we, we, we have our annual Christmas uh, get together on December the 18th and uh, we have a, a Christmas dinner uh, following that service at seven o'clock. And uh, you know, anybody that's in the Prestonsburg area or anybody wants to drive that way, we have Sunday school at 10 o'clock, morning worship at 11, Wednesday night Bible study at seven o'clock. Come, we'll love you in so many ways, you're bound to like one of them. Okay, all right, and and that phone number to get in touch with them. 606-634-7444. Um, that's my personal cell number and I will answer. Okay, well, that's, that's get pretty brave when you put your cell phone out. Yes. <laughs> you, you might not ever have another minute <laughs> apiece. <laughs> But uh, sometimes it's knows. important. Amen. So, well, we appreciate you called out ministers yes. for being here tonight. Yes. And uh, I've just lost my phone, uh, my mic. But anyway, our time is come and gone. So uh, good night uh, from all of us. We want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. We also accept Venmo and PayPal. Just scan the QR codes to donate. May God bless you.